Hi everyone, this is Bonnie at Good Earth Spa and today I am making a gold frankincense and myrrh soap. This will be a limited edition for the holidays only. Unless it gets extremely popular, then I might make more. Um, anyways, this is a Bastille soap, which means mostly olive oil and I'm using extra virgin organic olive oil. That's the highest grade you can get. And organic coconut oil. For super fatting, it will be a little bit of cold pressed organic hemp oil. And for my scent, of course, will be frankincense and myrrh, but I'll show you some more. This is myrrh powder. They got it in an herb shop, so that's what it looks like. And it smells great. It has a lot of that, um, oh, it's, uh, it's earthy, it, you know, it's similar to patchouli, it's, uh, it's a wonderful base note, and this powder is extremely fragrant. So this will be swirled in. And then I'm also using frankincense essential oil. Mmm, it smells really, really nice. And then I'm going to be mixing that with some frankincense fragrance, which is really strong, to make it a more strongly scented soap. And then I have some gold mica that I'm going to uh, put on the top so that it's, you know, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And that will be a holiday theme. Sorry about that. My camera battery ran out, but I'm back. And I was just saying that... The, uh, the reason why this is a holiday soap, why it's going to be limited edition for Christmas, is because, um, according to the Bible, in Matthew 2, about the Magi's visit, it says, in, okay, Matthew 2, 5, and when they came to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him, and, and, when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So that's what I'm doing here today, making a gold, frankincense, and myrrh so celebrate the holidays. All right, I'm ready to get started. So because there's historical record of it, we have proof that um, frankincense and myrrh have been used for incense and for scenting for thousands of years. I haven't even added it to the soap yet and I can already smell it. This is going to be a great um, resinous depth, just a great soap or a scented soap. And because of the high amount of olive oil, it looks like we're getting a lot of the green color. So, that's how it looks right now. Okay, I'm going to mix up a little bit and then I'll come back for the coloring and things in a bit. So I'm planning out a little layered look for my soap, so I'm going to pour some in here. Okay, maybe I'll uh, put a little bit more back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be doing... One's going to get gold and one's going to get myrrh. The whole thing got frankincense. Oh no, it didn't yet. It's going to get it right now. Okay, since I already split it, I'll just pour half in here. And stir it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put my myrrh in here as well. So I want lots of myrrh going in here. Oh, I can smell the difference, too. This is a little bit more, so... And the rest of the scent will go into the top over there. This is my myrrh. I'm gonna put some more. Looks like I could do a little bit more. Oops. 
So now it's almost all in there. There's just a little bit left in that bag. So I'm just going to mix this, mix this up for a little while and make sure that all of the myrrh and frankincense are mixed in well. Okay, so meanwhile over here, I got out my other stick blender. And, oh, you know what? I forgot to do the hemp oil, so i got to put this in the other side. Half of it goes in there to make it nice and moisturizing. And half of it goes in here. Okay. All right, so let me get my other spoon and start scooping some of this beautiful gold mica in here and trying to try to turn this green into more of a gold. I want it really gold. <laughs> Frankincense. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stir my other pot up too. Make sure that it goes all in there well. That's probably kind of loud. Come back to you later. So I'm purring, pour, <laughs> purring, I'm purring, that's funny. I'm pouring the myrrh portion on the bottom. I am purring. Okay. I want to just save a little bit in there for samples if I can. Okay, they all look fairly even. And this is going to be fairly layered, but I kind of like a little bit of a swirl, so I'm not going to let it set up or anything. I'm just going to start pouring it in so that it sinks down a little bit and then also sits on top. So I just want this gold to be just a little bit thicker, but not a lot thicker. And it really is looking beautiful. I'm sorry my cord doesn't reach really to show you the color of the gold, but it's really coming out nice. I hope it stays that way. I'm really close to the soap as I pour it so that it sits on the top and just sinks down a little bit. Grab 
a little stick for some swirlies, curly swirlies. Hopefully this looks like a soap fit for a king. I'm just going to do a little bit of sprinkling of gold on top. Ooh, sparkly and shiny. Okay, I'm going to swirl it. Okay, it's starting to get thick, so I have to see how I can do some samples with what I have left. So I'm about, just about done on my swirling. Okay, that in there. Okay, toss this in the oven. This is a CPOP. Grab my sample tray. Oh yeah, it's gotten really hard in here, but that's okay. So it won't have quite the same swirling effect. might not be quite as pretty as the real thing, but oh well. It's just setting up thick now. kind of tossing this in, but you know, it's kind of more important to me to get the regular stuff looking better. The samples are secondary, but I like to have them. I do definitely like to have the samples. So it feels like I got some soap on me. These samples are not going to get any pretty little swirly curlies. Because it's too thick. So I can just do it with my fingers. Nah. Okay. Maybe I can. Alright. That's that. Let's get these off. So I can turn the camera off. All right, we'll see you later.